Hello, I am here for you. How can I help? Uh, my name is Jody. I'm a student and I'm, I want to have sex. It's not rocket scientists, Josie. Just stand in front of a frat and wait. But no, I want to have consensual sex. Weird. I mean, I see. Where do you live? In a dorm. Excellent news! Let's go to that place immediately. Why? Because I am this country's most important non-firefighter public servant. I am going to show you how to have sex in a dorm. Though the participants have zero skill and the event smells mostly of patchouli, patchouli, college sex is one of the most highly revered and nostalgic forms of sex known to humans. Let me show you how badly it is done. Step one, get into college. This will require you to cheat on a lot of tests. Get good at reading your shoes and looking out of the side of your eye. If this fails, befriend Matt Damon. He's wicked smart at math, and he hangs out in bars. Now, I'm already in college, and I don't cheat on any tests. Difference step two. Find a college-age man to have sex with. These men are very young, but it is not illegal to have sex with them anymore. That's your preference, Joni Loves Crotchy. I just want someone who's nice and sweet and has a nice body. That is not specific at all. Let me break it down for you morons out there. If you want a guy who can kiss soft and play Wonderwall in his guitar and who says super deep sounding things because they're plagiarized from Pablo Neruda, go to a coffee shop. If you want a guy who seems sweet and will impress your mother, go fuck yourself. That guy's a serial killer and he's your TA. If you want a guy who's hung like a depressed freshman, go to the computer lab. Nerds have big dicks, they just don't know how to kiss. Which one do you want, buck tits? Go to the coffee shop. Terrible choice. It's your funeral. Here we are in a coffee shop. Which one do you want? Um, I want the ginger one. How do I get him? You take this original copy of Catcher in the Rye and you sit down. Hold that in front of your chest no matter what! Miss, is there anything I can do for you? I want to do to you what spring does to the cherry trees. Step two. Go to your dorm room and order a pizza. Oh, I can't go into my dorm room. You are more and more of a disappointment to me every day, Joji. It's just that my roommate's in there and she's heavy. And we can't go in there because she put a sock on the door. Okay, so we go to your neighbor's room and... Uh... How come everyone is having dorm sex but you? I just spent the first few months of college studying. I hope you learned your lesson about that. Step three, obtain a dorm room. I shall be with you forthwith. Who dares to wake me? Who dares to wake me from my slumber? I told you this was a mistake. We should go. You, you shall not pass! I be beseech you, O oh master of capes and old-timey talk, please let us shall pass. And what is it that you want, child? Uh, these two want to have sex in your room? And what do I get if I were to say yay? Uh, you, you get to watch. No, no, no. Not in front of the cape man. No. You ruined everything. Or did I? Or did she? Yeah, I, yeah, I have a superpower too. It's to put you in the friend zone. We're not friends. We'll never be friends. We'll be in love till it kills us both. We'll fight and we'll shag and we'll hate each other until we quiver, but we'll never be friends. Love isn't brains, children, it's blood. Blood screaming inside you to do its will. I may be love's bitch, 
But at least I'm man enough to admit it. Is that Neruda? Better, Whedon. Okay, so he probably can't kiss, but it doesn't matter because I just showed you how to have sex in a dorm. Hey, Ginger. Is, uh, the cape man gone? Yes, did he scare you? Why don't I buy you a drink? Oh, uh, I'm not old enough to go to a bar. I'm 17. But you're in college. Yeah, but I skipped a grade. No. No. No! No! No!